is uh, Conor McGregor apparently is negotiating his next fight, right? And he threw the, 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 the terms true partner and promoter. Now, he's just coming up to Mayweather fight. He was talking about, I'm coming off a billion dollar fight, blah, 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 whatever the fuck. But basically, it seems like he wants more than just pay-per-view points. He wants more than just a purse. He wants he wants some promoter money. What, what do you think about that yep. there, Jeremiah? Uh, like I made a post earlier, he just needs to vacate the belt, and he can go promote however many fucking fights he wants to promote. Because he's done made a fucking bank. I mean, you know, it's time to defend the belt. It's time to, it's time to fucking fight in the fucking cage. <clears throat> I'm tired of hearing about McGregor. But he's but he's going to fight. He's going to defend the belt against who? Tony. What about, did you see the tweet and delete bullshit that UFC done about the Nate Diaz three fight? Nah, I, was nah. that was that real That's though? Clickbait. I don't know. I don't know. His management said listen, that. Uh, listen. Him and Tony will fight, but they don't know when is the time is mm -hmm. the thing, you know. I buy mm -hmm. that. I buy that. When when yeah. dude, when they booked Khabib versus Barboza, I start saying it right then. We're gonna get Tony Connor. There's no way they're gonna put Tony unless Tony's got a bad injury that nobody knows about. That's the only way. I mean, I know, I know the UFC has done some outlandish shit. Tony's the fucking interim champ. They're not gonna go that far. I mean, listen, Nate's cute and all. He's no fucking GSP back after a four-year hiatus. Like, they want that fight, but they're not stupid. They know that that third Diaz fight's there. It's We're going to get – yeah, it's going to be there. If Connor loses this next fight, that, that trilogy fight's there and it sells. That don't matter. Matter of fact, it probably sells a little better if dude loses just because then there's not the belt and all that fucking, you know, shit wrapping it up. What the fuck? Like, that, that, that fight will sell good regardless. Um, honestly, so I think though, that we definitely get that fight. I, I I just don't know when. I buy that. But honestly, how pumped are y'all for the trilogy fight? Me myself, I really don't. I would rather fight Tony. I'm over the Nate Connor fucking bullshit. Look, I, sure. I I, I want to see the trilogy at some point, but not now. I want to see Tony fucking fight for that shit. He's yeah. earned that shot. Like I sure. I fully believe he's earned that shot, right? And I'm an Nate Diaz fan. I mean, if they make the Nate, the Nate the trilogy, okay, whatever. But I prefer the Tony fight. I want to see. Plus, I, I'm so I, look. I don't know about you guys, but I'm tired of all this. Well, he's never defended the belt. Talk. I'm sick of that shit. Fine, defend the belt. Shut those fuckers the fuck up and move on. Yep. Yeah. All right. So listen, let me jump in on the whole Connor promoting with the UFC thing here, because there's a lot to think about with this, right? On one hand, you kind of think, "Go fuck yourself, son." <laughs> like, you know, didn't work for Fedor, ain't gonna work for you. Like, we ain't co-promoting <laughs> with nobody, Jack. But this is a different environment. It's not the Fertitas and the new companies down, you know, presumably still at least fucking three billion or so on the fucking on the buy. So um, they find themselves in an interesting spot where they probably could use, uh, you know, that extra million pay-per-view buys. They, they kind of need that right now. And Connor probably knows that the thing with this co-promotion thing is. And people have got to understand this about Connor, man. Connor does a good job of promoting fights, but he also does a great job of fighting. Okay, what, what we have to understand here is that Connor is one loss away from not meriting this position anymore. Right now, hey, man, the UFC might have to give him what he wants or at least negotiate with the little Irish prick to get him in the cage. They need that million buys they can't this isn't the old school where, where dana white can get a get into a pissing match with connor and, and say fuck you um dana white will get overrode now and the suits that yep. need that money will be like all right fuck it let the little prick get a taste but i don't think they're gonna like sign some exclusive deal i think it'll be fight by fight because listen if connor comes out and gets trashed by tony ferguson make no mistake about it his stock will drop. Now, could they still sell the, the trilogy fight with Nate? Sure. If he comes out and gets trashed in that one, it drops again. He fucking fights Khabib or Barbosa and gets knocked out after that. You can forget about it, Jack. We'll be sending him to Bellator. Make no mistake about it. Dog eat dog world. He's two or three losses in a row from being past tense. You've got to win an MMA or we will fucking tarnish you. All of our heroes, Fedor, Anderson, 
none of those cats yeah. really sell or got the same mystique they had. You start losing, Jack, and especially if you're a mouth runner, ask Chell Sonnen how that panned out. Yeah. Where the fuck's he at now? Filling out gymnasiums in Bellator. Especially the new UFC and the new fan base. The hardcore oh, fans yeah. like us are fucking outnumbered tremendously. You can tell by these these new MMA groups just popping up all over the web. Have you ever just took time and looked on these fucking groups and looked at the posts <laughs> and the comments? Yeah. It's fucking so, silly. I'll tell you. I, I'll tell you. I'll tell you the difference here. Okay, if Connor loses the next fight or two, his fan base drops. BJ Penn, tell me you guys are still a fan of BJ Penn. Listen, oh, yeah. I am, but that motherfucker. Plus, you don't want to see him fight, but fans. still. Right, yeah, right, right. But, fans. Hmm? Well, no, but but the point's taken. There was a time where BJ was that dude. When oh. BJ was our Mike Tyson for a while, when BJ oh, fought, yeah. you wouldn't, if you was a fight fan, you wouldn't be nowhere on earth but in front of that fucking TV. Now BJ fights on the fucking prelims and nobody even gives a shit. That's weird. You're, you're, BJ's a good example because he used to be Connor. That dude, he was a hmm. multi fucking division champion. BJ the prodigy pin. He my favorite fighter of all fucking time. Still is. Yeah. But but yeah. yeah, I mean, look where he's at now. Couple years, a few losses, and Connor does not have this negotiating power. But for now, while he does, and while the UFC does need him and he's at his peak, get that money, son. I mean, you can't close mouths don't get fed. I know a lot of people were like, fuck Connor, fuck Connor. Hey man, this is business at the highest level. It's called hardball. It, it I can't mean, get him. You right, can't blame right, him, right. but that's what pisses me off the most about it, about the promotion uh, getting a share of it. He will get it. He'll fucking get it. Make okay. no mistake about it. Like you said, he will get what the fuck he wants. But my point is, when in the history of the UFC, in the history of belts, interim belts, have you ever had a champion come back and not fight the guy holding the fucking interim strap? Right. Be, no, he, being he, I, hurt, taking time off, whatever. You got to fucking fight the interim sure. champion. Sure. And that's that's part of keeping Connor's legacy and and this whole yeah. in order for him to keep these numbers going, he has to prove some. Listen, how do fucking casual dickheads find out about Connor McGregor from assholes like us? Mm -hmm. We go, yeah. hey, fuck, wild. You ever heard of this little Irish prick named Connor? Talks a lot and beats the fuck out of people. Go get on YouTube on your phone. We're the one that spreads the word. So when we tell all the douchebags. Yo, if Connor beats this little fucking El Kikui tonight, this means a lot. We do set the narrative for the Bud Light fans. They don't know what the fuck they're looking at until people like us spread the rumor. He needs to fight Tony, and he needs to finish Tony. Keep this fucking ball of fire going. Yeah, definitely. Now, I got a few comments here on uh, YouTube. Shout out to uh, Peter Rose, Joy Tremendous, Liam Hughes, John Smith, Raider. Uh, everyone joining in tonight. I appreciate you guys uh, tuning in and hitting up, hitting up in the chat. Uh, Pia Rose says, fuck yes, and if he defends, talking about, you know, defending the belt. Uh, she says, fuck yes, and if he defends it against Nate, then that's a joke. And we're we all kind of in agreement as far as For it sure. should be Tony. Um, then um, John says, uh, we have seen Connor fight a bunch. Uh, who has not been dismantled by Connor? It's a 50-50 war. Or, you know, talking about the, uh, the you know, the split, I guess. Sure. But, um, look, as far as this goes, I mean, we've never seen anybody else successfully do this. We're about to see it. Because you're right, Connor's going to get his money. Connor's gonna get that that promoter share that he oh, wants. Yeah. I mean, and for honestly, he's earned it. I was fixing to say, like at this point though, like would y'all do it? I'd probably do it. Oh yeah. Like if if you're the cats that bought the UFC, do you negotiate with Connor? I mean, I've I've seen the narrative that you don't want to do this because this kind of lets the lets it's the cat out of the bag, right? Yeah, it sets a precedent. If Connor can do it. Maybe Cody Garbrandt has a big performance, you know. John Jones guy, you know, who who the fuck knows, man? Stars are are weirdly made overnight sometimes. Who knows what who you got trying to pull this stunt in the future? But Connor's a fucking weird enigma, right? And listen, yeah. he's coming off the Floyd fight. Bruh, we get in that shine. We're mm -hmm. at least gonna see what you we you ain't sneaking away at this point, motherfucker. <laughs> that like yeah. if he like i said if he comes back and loses this fight then this discussion changes completely but for now he's kind of got the ufc by the balls to a degree they, they need him for this fucking fight Look, you you negotiate with him you give him a, whatever share not whatever share he wants but you negotiate the, well, the right. share right you negotiate yeah right, you negotiate right. the share but then you make that card fire like yeah, if you're you gonna to. yeah if you're gonna give a promoter share you gotta make that card so fire that it just oh it's it's bought by everybody like you have to do that because otherwise your your return on investment is not going to be anywhere near enough.
know what I mean? And then it's gonna it's gonna be a mess down the line when when, when McGregor goes, okay, I'm fighting Diaz again. All right, cool. Now I want more promoter share if I beat you know if he beats Tony. So it's, yeah, uh, but that's just the the risk you gotta take. Absolutely. So what did he say? My employees have employees. Yeah, I'm promoting fights now. I don't need to fight. Well, take your happy ass on off into the sunset and promote whatever the fuck you want to promote. That's what I was thinking about a while ago, how, uh, Fred, you were saying how he's an enigma and how stars are born overnight. I think Darren Till has the possibility to be the next big star, but in my eyes, it, it's going to be kind of hard to be another Conor McGregor. Will, will well, that, that stick work for somebody else? You know what I'm saying? Is no, kind of beat in the ground? No, because it's not a stick, really. I mean, you know, you well, see this fucking guy. Him, yeah. But I'm right, with somebody else. No, that's, that's off of him. You know what I'm saying? Look, here we just. You know what the thing is? Listen, could somebody like Connor work? Fucking a, they could. Mm -hmm. There's a fuck. But the the biggest thing. Listen, Nate Diaz is Connor McGregor. He just happens yeah. to be Mexican and from California and smoke weed. <laughs> They're the same kind. That's why it was such magic. There are two. You just have to be yourself. Mm -hmm. That's it. When you start trying to be Connor, DC. you look like an ass monkey. Yeah, what the fuck? Exactly. But if you're you know, Jorge Masvidal. It's a damn shame that Jorge hasn't won a couple of his key fights because he's kind of speaking of that. Not to sidetrack y'all, but did y'all yeah, see yeah, him? Yeah, him yeah. Him we'll, 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 we'll talk about that right now because okay. some people are freaked out about it. But yeah, no. But you're right, Masvidal. He, he's real. There's a lot. There's a few. Right. Like, there's a handful of guys that are real. Nick. Nick yeah, and their personality. Jorge. But yeah. Connor just he was special because he won the big fights, called yeah. the big fights. He had the Ali thing of calling his shots and then, and, but then he backed it up. Mm -hmm. He had the magic, man. He, he won the fights when he fought. And then listen, he fucking slayed Jose Aldo in six seconds or whatever. You don't come yeah. back from that, man. I mean, you can't read. That's why MMA and fighting is so special and so dope to us, right? Because mm -hmm. every event's like the Super Bowl. You can't recreate it, man. Whatever event they were at when he slayed Jose, like, you got to be on your piece because from that point on, Connor fucking shot somewhere past the moon, man. And that was that was fucking it. He beating Eddie was was the icing on the cake, but Jose was the cake. You know, he talked all that shit and us hardcores, bro. I was a Connor fan, and I'm like, I don't know if he's got this one, dog. Yeah. This is the one. And when he starts, Jose, I was like, oh, forget about it. that's the dude. <laughs> <laughs> There's yeah. nothing he can't do. Yeah, and Jesse all joining us. Yeah, Jesse joining us from LA. What's up, man? What's up, boys? Jesse, what up, Jesse? Hey. What up, Jesse? You can can't you guys hear me? Dude. You can't hear me. All right, we'll keep going, I guess. Oh, but I can, um, I can hear. Well, I can hear him. I can hear him, Eddie. I, can, I can't hear him for shit. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, and I can, I can hear, hear Jeremiah. How the fuck is that? I can't hear him at all. What the? Yeah, hell? I can hear him. All right, Eddie, we'll, Eddie, we'll Eddie. Has Jesse, what do you think about this whole thing with Connor about. trying to be a promoter? Or we're trying to get a promoter share now. Um, I hadn't heard about it, but uh, why not? I mean, he's making the big bucks. He wants to make even more money. Might as well. I mean, why hate on a guy that, you know, is trying to make his, his uh, paper one way or another, right? I mean, he did the boxing thing. Um, and I'm pretty sure the reason he's trying to be a promoter is because he can't be his own boxing. Uh, he probably can't do any more boxing unless he becomes his own promoter. So, hey, man, he, he's going to make the money. He's going to cast those checks. We should be happy for him. Um, you know, he's changing the game for everybody else that's coming behind him. Do you think the UFC actually does it, though? I, I don't think they can stop him, especially because if it's boxing, I think he'll be protected no, 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 under that. Uh, it ain't boxing, bro. He's talking about doing that in the UFC, like, for his championship title defense. Oh, 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 you were talking about him uh, taking shares of the UFC, right? That's yeah, he talked about he wanted a promoting that. angle with his next fight. Like, he don't just want points on the pay-per-view. He wants, like, a promotional status. Which, quite frankly, I don't even know what the fuck that actually means exactly, like, what type of cut he thinks he takes at that point or what all this entails, but, you know. Yeah. I, I think I think he's probably looking at what, uh, what IMG did with all those famous people then, right? Like, give them a, a percentage of the earnings, you know, quarterly, whatever. I mean, even Dana White alluded to the fact that, you know, they weren't going to be able to pay him the way they normally pay fighters in his next fight. They were going to have to structure his deal differently. So, I mean, I think this is just the next step, the next evolution. Yeah, it's it's just the next step of how uh, these superstars are going to get paid. Uh, I think we're just going to eventually going to go into the boxing model of these guys are just taking their own promotional cut and the UFC is just kind of like an entity that's like, 
overreaching everybody and has them under their their umbrella. That's where you go to watch it. Okay, Let's get uh, realistic uh, here, uh, though. What uh, cut is he going to get? If he's not promoting yeah. that fucking card, what the fuck is he going to get? What are they going to give him? I, I think I think they'll probably they'll probably give him like a cut of that event, maybe like door sales, maybe like some other. They'll they'll incentivize it. I don't think they'll give him like a cut of the company, like uh, you know, like the IMG people are are doing with other other famous people. You know, like one two percent or you know points or whatever. I think they'll just incentivize them by giving them a lot more options on like door sales and other stuff like that. Um, I, I think that's that's where they'll sweeten the pot for him because I don't think they want to oh, give wow. up. You know, if he, I mean, why? It, because he's going to promote future cards of his own. If he's not promoting that specific card for the UFC, don't make no sense to me. Oh, I'm just talking about his next when he's fighting on that card. I don't think they'll give him anything for like overall. Cause like you said, that wouldn't make any sense unless he's going to be the next Dana White and he's going to be out there in his, you know, F.E. suit promoting every fight card. Nope. I don't think that's an option. Love it to be a soldier. Must maintain composure.